Hello, hello, hello. So we are in, I don't know what week of this coronavirus, Michigas. Three things are critical to understand. The first thing is that everything that occurs in the universe has a plan. Now, what's really important to understand is that you are like in between the plan. The plan is above you. But what happens comes from below. In other words, you don't know the plan. A good example of this is, let's say you're a child and your parents say, okay, we're going to go on vacation. So, you know, we're going to go on vacation. They take you here. They take you there. So you have no idea. There's only one reason why children are happy or those that are is that is because they trust their parents. And in order to be happy in life, you have to have faith in the plan. I remember meeting a guy in South Africa, which is really, I mean, it's been shown Johannesburg, one of the most anxiety uh, provoking cities, a lot of crime, this and that. And so I um, spoke to him and um, I asked him, how come you're so calm? The guy was like a guy in California. I don't know if you've ever been to California, but everybody's like on the beach in California. So he said, you know, if I get on a plane, I don't think, am I going to make it to my destination? I trust the pilot. So this is a very important concept. He's a successful businessman, but he, tr he trusts the pilot. As one person told me, he was in a billionaire's uh, office and on the wall it said, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. God decided until Mashiach comes that the world will have free choice. In order for there to be free choice, like Einstein said, there are only two ways to live. One is though everything is a miracle, the other is though nothing is. In other words, free choice necessitates that you could ignore the fact that there is a hand that's making everything happen. And so that's the key. Once you understand that there's a hand that's making everything happen, so it has to have a logic to it. It has to be a good thing. The second thing in life is what is the message? In everything that's occurring, there's a message. And I need to learn something. And the third thing in life is what is the action? And these three things are consistent from the beginning to the end of time. 